Hi everyone, Crumpet here and today, today I'm leaving behind the snowy north of the Darwin Project. I'm leaving behind the hot, sweaty swampland of Hunt Showdown. And today, today we are discussing my favourite weapon in all of video games, the bow. I can't quite pinpoint when it happened, but at some point, at some point in my gaming career, I decided that the bow and arrow was the coolest weapon choice. And truthfully, it spun a little out of control. I even really like the Arrow, or Arrow, the CW TV series. And quite honestly, I wanted more gosh darn Hawkeye in the Avengers. But that aside, I think there's something special, something incredibly satisfying about bow and arrow gameplay. And I want to share with you my top games that really nail the bow. This is a mixture of single player and multiplayer games. Now, I don't pretend to have played every game with a bow. In fact, you'll notice some big titles missing, for example, Zelda and God of War. This isn't a definitive list, this is my list. But comment below in typical YouTube fashion with your list, with your games, and let me know what I missed. Now, all of that said, in this video, we're doing a slight change of pace, which is, you know, new for me. I'm gonna comment as little as possible. I'm gonna let the gameplay and the video do the talking, although we do have some special, some honorable mentions at the end, which I'll talk over. Now, that said, let's bogin. Ah, I'm so, so sorry, please don't unsub. Northwest zone is now protected. Six zones remain. Domination. 
All right, guys, and now we have the honorable mentions. The games that I actually thoroughly enjoyed. I think they had great mechanics, but didn't quite make my list. First up is Titan Souls. This is a boss battling game, but you only have one arrow at a time and single life, so one hit and you're out. It's quite intense, to be honest with you. The bosses all have slightly different mechanics. In this one, you have to shoot your arrow through the flame to defrost this brain, and then you have to shoot the brain to suck up its soul pretty weird game now I talk about it out loud but the archery was kind of cool in it uh, I just wish you could see more of the the bow being pulled back you know and the arrow being let loose ask though and ye shall receive moonlighter is a game that honestly none of you guys played really fun little kind of roguelike dungeon crawler where you make a shop and you sell things to the townspeople. I play some strange games at times. But anyway, this game I think solved the problem of Titan Souls. The bowl looked really cool. You'll see right here, this nice little animation of me letting loose my arrows. Let fly the dogs of war. And yeah, overall it's actually very satisfying. The combat's really fun. Um, the maps are small enough that you're constantly dodge rolling and firing arrows. This is a strange one. It's like the first boss in the game. It's a little bit easy when you're using the bow and arrow, but it does get a little bit harder as the game progresses. But yeah, overall, solid game, solid bow mechanics, and definitely a good time. Alright, so the, <laughs> there's an argument to be made that this is a cheating answer. But listen, you don't play as this guy in Dark Souls, but he's a giant blind archer with the bow the size of a fucking giraffe. He basically loads alligator arrows, okay, they're not actually alligators, but they're so huge, they may as well be alligators. And then he fires this arrow, once again he is blind, he fires his arrow at a dragon that's flying overhead. Look at this, look at him straining. Here comes the dragon. Wang, that noise is perfect. Hits him right through the wing. So he has to land and fight you. Hoo wee! Definitely a uh, top moment from Dark Souls. All right, and finally, once again, a slight cheek. So I actually play a lot of Overwatch, but it's pretty goddamn cool that in a competitive esport, there's this crazy archer ninja that fires dragons from his bow. I think overall he's a really cool character and a really cool concept and the shorts they do for these characters are just amazing. So while Overwatch isn't really my cup of tea, uh, I do think the, the archery in it with Hanzo is fantastic and should be celebrated. So yeah, I want to share this one and once again, what a goddamn cool cinematic.
thought that was cool. So that's that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Something slightly different from myself. Leave a like if you like it. Dislike it if you didn't. Sub for more content. I'm going to try and do a few more opinion pieces over time. And look at the shot, by the way. Woo! But yeah, that's it, guys. Have an awesome day. Thanks for hanging out. Until next time, peace.